All right, y'all. Welcome back to DuckTales Remastered. Today, we are going to go to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else to say about this, really. Let's just get started, shall we? It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Mr. McDuck, mm, I've never been to the moon before. Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's Oxy Chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And it'd take a feather brain like you to believe her. Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who could give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Alright, so here we are at the moon, which the original <laughs> track for this level from the NES version has been revered as the best musical piece in the entire game. It's actually one of the best musical pieces in gaming of all time, actually. And, um, it's, it's not my favorite, to be honest. I personally like the Himalayas better. Well, in the NES version. Here, the moon, I... I, I actually, I kind of like the Himalayas track better than the moon as well in this version. But it, I won't deny, it's a very good musical piece. Very catchy. Why? That looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Hex, yes. Okay. Anyway, now we gotta explore this spaceship and try to find uh, Fenton. Oh, Kidoki. Got your aliens and. They don't really do anything, they just walk back and forth really fast. That's really it. <laughs> yeah, they don't really do anything. They just kind of mind their own business. Which kind of makes you wonder why I'm killing them. Well, because if I touch them, I take damage for some odd reason. So... My reason is justified for killing them. Can't go up here just yet. We can, well, pff, shortly. Yeah. Let's see. Right, let me kill this innocent bystander. There we go. Oh, one of Gizmo Duck's parts. Blast me, bagpipes! A piece of Gizmo Duck's suit! Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. Well, let's look around. I mean, it's not like we're searching for anyone important, right? Right. Climb up here. Should be something hidden. Man, this track is so catchy. I just can't get over how 
good this soundtrack is. I love it. I hope it becomes available for download sometime down the road because as of now, oh hi, as of this recording, it is not available on Jake Kaufman's website. Hopefully it will be one day. Fenton, get down from there and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones. Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius. Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Oops. Warning, damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry, I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button too. I'll get us out of this. Okay, so you can move up and down and all around, as well as left and right. All you gotta do is go left, press right on the D-pad, and you'll get to the other switch, no problem. Gravity system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck! Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit! Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit myself. Yeah, that, that, that part is just no challenge at all. As I said, you, you, literally all you have to do is hold left and hold right. You only have to go up or down. I think the switches might be time, I had no idea. Cause again, it's, it's so easy, there's... <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we gotta find a Gizmo Duck's suit. There are only three pieces. And one of them we saw right over here. Now that we disengage the security, we can actually get it. That's Gizmo Duck's helmet! Oh. If I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon bolt. Yeah, he makes a good point. <laughs> he seems to be a lot more alert, for lack of better terms, when he's using my deck. But oh well. Hmm, let's see. Let's go to the left. Yeah, these um robotic ducks, they jump, punch, and that's it. Um, sometimes they will get stuck when I'm trying to fly across the screen, and when that happens, they'll just self-destruct. It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Give it to you. Hit this, and go up here. Treasure, treasure. Ooh, treasure. <laughs> Yeah. Go up here. I don't think we'll find a piece of Gizmo Duck's suit here. I'm kind of drawing a blank for some reason. Wait, I kind of want to. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah. Rock power. I like how he just waits on there like Arr! Anyway, let's go up here. Da -da 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 -da. Rock. Rock. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, one up. Gonna be needing those for the last part of the game. Just saying. Call the hunch. Cause here I'm, I'm playing a- oh, there's a piece of his suit up here. Yeah, I can't remember exactly. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit! It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. 
Now just one more pack to find and I can get off this flying monstrosity. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. Well, how did you carry the coins? Did you have the pocket thin or what? Oh, let me just go to Pogo in case I land on an enemy. That should have hit me, but I'm not going to question it. Um... Oh yeah, I was saying I'm I'm doing pretty good with lives. I haven't I've only lost, died once, and that was because of bad timing on my part. I actually never died of that part. Ooh, till split through. Ouch! So it begins. Okay. Bounce. Okay, let's go to the. Right. I forgot my directions for a split second. <laughs> Wait for you. Oh. This is just just somewhere around here. Oh, right here. Okay. There's some more. Okay, there's stuff down here as well. There we go. Okay, again, sorry if y'all can hear the pogoing. Um, that sound effect just sticks out more than anything else in the game. So, I mean, I should be able to sync it up no problem so it, you won't be able to tell, but in case I don't, I apologize ahead of time. Okay. This, this, and this, and this, and this, this, as well as this. Okay. Hit these because why not, even though there's actually nothing over here. Like, this is completely pointless. Hmm. Oh well, get the treasures in here. That small one right there. There we go. Let's see. Going about 12 minutes of recording. Not bad. Okay, let's see. I guess all. If we continue up, that'll actually lead to the last part of Gizmo Duck Suit. So let's go over here. <laughs> awesome. You deserved it. Because science. Literally, that's how you were made. Oh hi, Mrs. Beakley. How the flip did you even get on the whatever? Mrs. Beakley, now where did you come from? Why from home, of course. I had to be sure you were all right in this filthy place. You're always as good as you want, my dear. Dang, you know what, I was hoping she would say that one line, I, I can't remember exactly how it goes, but she says um, something like, Oh, I want to see how the vacuum of space would affect my pie crush. Something like that. That line cracked me up the first time I heard it. Actually, I only heard it once. How'd you like my impression of Mrs. Beakley? Terra bad, wasn't it? I couldn't agree more. Anyway, that is all of Mrs. Beakley's hidden locations. Um, I don't know if 9 lies is the maximum amount of lies because I've never been this good with keeping lives. Not gonna lie. We shall see. Anyway, we're out in space. Well, we've been in space, but, um, shut up. Anyway, last part. Gizmo Duck's Wheel! I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Huh, I hope it's not too late. I oh, don't know. Fighting on a unicycle sounds kind of badass. I'm just saying. Sounds ridiculous, but also badass because how many people can get away with fighting evil on a unicycle? Come on now. Besides Batman.
Okay, so we just gotta make our way back to the beginning. Oh, what? Huh, I never knew about that jewel. Huh, well then. Hmm, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that really threw me off. There's something there. Alright. Oops. And take that. Hmm. It is four in the morning. And I got a lot of homework to do before um, having to go to work tomorrow at one. Well, today. <laughs> This could be fun. Thank goodness it's only seven hour shifts. I mean, seven hour shift. Okay, so we're back outside the ship. Just over our way over here. And as with the monkey and other enemies that infinitely respawn, as long as there's one on screen, others won't join him. I say that as I kill him. And thing is, he won't like just drop right on you. He'll stop like a few feet from you, and then he'll start punching. Kind of a ineffective move, but whatever. Let's give the Gizmo Duck suit back to these peoples. We're in luck. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault. Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I uh. I think I left my favorite two dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade, so that I might deal justice upon it! Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. We have two million dollar bills now. Okay. Now I love this part because. <laughs> My sadistic side is slightly pleased by this. Uh... Oh, ice cream. Didn't know that was there. Yeah, this is awesome. I literally don't have to do anything. I just gotta keep a safe distance and. He will literally take out all the enemies for me. Even the ones that commit suicide. <laughs> Let me get rid of the blocks. This is freaking awesome. Take this. Okay, now this is a part of the moon we haven't actually explored, so I'm gonna bounce around. I don't think there's any jewels actually, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir. 
Good work, Gizmodoc. No. Ah, Flintheart Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! Huh. How did he know about this? Will we ever find out? Yes. Anyway. Um, let's go down and deal with the Beagle Boys. At least they make sense here. Like... What level was that? They just ran... Uh, the African Mines. There was literally no reason for them to be there, story-wise. Then again, it is a video game. Story could... Actually, to be honest, I don't think the game would have been an, as enjoyable well this remastering anime would be as enjoyable without the story because I've mentioned this plenty of times but the voice acting the writing is so fantastic and it just gives the game so much personality I don't think it would be the same so never mind about the statement I was gonna make just shut up Duke you're an idiot oh the hit sweet is there any treasure in these blocks Nope. 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 Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. We're approaching the end, so... Oh my gosh, I almost <laughs> just, just ran right into them. Fire five. Ice cream. Huh, like the most health, health items I've found in one level. For expert, anyway. I think the Amazon has the most health items you can find in any difficulty that's not expert. <clears throat> mm. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> any other treasure that wants to just magically pop up, maybe? No? Okay. Okay. Hit. Hit this. Bounce up here. It's mine! It's a diamond the size of uh, Mrs. Beagle! I don't know what that is. It doesn't even give it a name, it just calls it like hidden treasure, something like that. Basically, the same thing calls the other treasures. Wait, okay. Way down, we're approaching the boss. And let's see. What's our time like? 23 minutes? Not bad. Probably go a lot faster if I just go. But nope, y'all gotta deal with the raging collecto. Because this money literally has no point to me whatsoever. Can't buy anything with it. But man, do I love seeing that number go up high. Smurf and be merry. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott. I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. Okay, so we're finding a giant rat. Ouch. And it's a bit tricky because it can switch between two different types of attacks. Um, it can jump from left to right or it just runs across the ground from left to right. And, well... It's kind of hard to predict sometimes because it there's not much oh I hit it 
there's really not much time for you to react. You just kind of have to hope that it doesn't run into you when you're trying to outpredict it. And once you hit it two or three times, it'll kind of go on a bit of a rampage. Turn green and just appear out of those holes in the background really fast. So yeah, other than that, it's not really too hard. He does get faster though, every time he, he gets hit. Okay, he's running across the ground now. Alright. Hmm, this boss... Like I said, it's not too difficult. None of the bosses are really difficult, but they're they're still very enjoyable, except for the last boss. They can be a bit tricky at times, but that's not saying much. But more on that when we get to it. Oh, I won. <laughs> giant moon rat or no giant moon rat, nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's going to make me. <laughs> Chill, buddy. And with that, we have all five of the main treasures. And we also picked up three hidden treasures along the way. Something I meant to do before this, I wanted to show off, you know, the hidden treasures being in the vault. Ah, well. The thing is, though, now that I have all five treasures, can't go to the vault. Um... Now, if this was hard or normal or easy, I could later on. But the thing is, after I press X, it'll go. It'll basically throw me right into the uh, level after a few cinematics. So I'm actually going to save the cinematics for the next part, which will be the finale of this playthrough. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you then. Take care.